Okie dokie. Hall Catch Fire, you have never seen one either? For sure, then let's definitely do it. Is there any combo that people would like to see? For Line Sprint, I kind of enjoy Dune Formacid. It takes away a lot of the advantages that you can eke out of something like the Line Sprint, not being able to use those haste potions or the occasional blink scroll, but it's so much fun playing a Formacid, so that's usually my go-to. So definitely let me know. Random random? Ooh, said no one. That's a good idea. Okie dokie. Let's try that out. We'll also take a break from the somber attitude. We'll bring the polybridge back in. Hopefully we can we can cheer each other up despite the tragedy. And so with that in mind, let's do this. So we're gonna try out line sprint and random is asterisk. We are Hill Orc, Hedge Wizard. Okay. And what shall our name be today? In loving memory. No, oh, I can't do commas. Can I do dashes? I can. Peter. And so this line sprint an homage to the one and only shall begin. Let's do this. <laughs> Wizard Kek W indeed. Um, hmm. I don't even know how to start. Usually I'm not playing wizards in this, this sprint, and you'll see why in just a second. It's going to be really hard to get through just the first chamber, but if we can do that, Maybe, just maybe, we can take off. In fact, as long as we can get up to Searing Ray. Oh, right, no, we're a Hedge Wizard, not a Conjurer. Okay, this is going to be interesting. We'll have to see how it goes. Might end up needing to use Slow to make sure that we can keep a bit of a barrier between us and our enemies. But for now, let's turn off this. Turn off Summonings. Go Hard Conjurations for the time being. We'll see how it goes. It has been a long time since I played through a sprint. Do I risk stepping up to the Quokka? Dang, I was hoping for a backstab because that would have gone us a long way towards uh, potentially surviving here. As is, we'll just have to see how it goes. And we actually get exceptionally lucky. That's no problem whatsoever. So for anyone who hasn't played the sprint before, this is pretty much what you're going to be seeing the whole time. We're going to go through a zigzag of single wide corridors, and each room gets progressively more difficult. There are some themed rooms for the different S branches and areas of the game you can get to. And the goal is to just go through the entire thing, get to the end, pick up the orb, and then zag your way back up to the top. And there are just a few special rooms that have equipment drops, or I think God Altars comes up right away here. So gonna try and survive until then oof scorpion first thing is not what you wanted to see probably want to save our blink scroll if possible so i think what we're gonna do is drop a haste almost die immediately this is where you really want to be at least level two by the time you face up against this buddy so you know if like the orc had been in front we would have been fine fine rather but unfortunately we don't get that <laughs> no god indeed and yeah we start out with a nice plethora of consumables here we don't have to worry about the id game so you can see why this sprint might be perfect for a player like me but that doesn't mean we're in any way guaranteed to survive we'll heal up and i might even do i go berserk immediately do you know what? i think we die pretty high odds no matter what so let's go for it and well in loving memory peter you tried your best at least we got revenge we killed the scorpion but let's try this again from the top we'll do another random random and see how we go oh i don't have many crawlers in this version for sprint look at that so once more from the top we'll try random random again and see what we get Loving memory, Peter the Vampire. Eh? 
Or so you couldn't get a bad combo twice? There's no such thing as a bad combo when it comes to vampires. Let's do this. Okay, we are an Ice Elementalist, so that actually is a pretty solid combo normally for a vampire. But the question is, will we be able to use this to its full efficacy in the sprint? Freeze isn't bad, at least it doesn't miss. It has semi-decent damage for this stage. Everyone cross your fingers. Let's go for it. Oh, I wish I had a dagger. This time, of course, I do get the sneak up on the enemies, but unfortunately we are not really able to use it. So, just gonna have to start freezing. We'll fight the barehanded one with our own hands. Oh, at least I wanted to. Oof. <laughs> Come on, loving memory number two. You can do it. Do I use my last mana? I was saving my mana for the dagger wielding gobbo. You do up to three damage, I believe. Up to five. Oh, that's that's not good. See how much mana we get back walking. Not quite enough, but we get a turn here. I'd like to save those potions of magic. As risky as that may be. So, you're going to be one plus your dagger. That's not too bad. No, it's the K-Man. This is not classic DCSS. This is uh, the sprint feature, so this specifically is line sprint. It's the last one in the options. So we're just fooling around a little bit to, to round off the end of our little baby stream today. And I like that the majority of people in chat haven't actually really seen too much of line sprint. So I thought it would be a, a fun time, or sprints in general, rather. So it's a fun time to get to show off something a little bit different than the usual and see how it goes. I also definitely should have gone to manual training and let's focus these things down for now. Skill allocation gets real wild in this version. We'll have to try it out. And yeah, no, because I really enjoy line sprint or sprints in general, especially if you don't have as much time as you'd like to go into like a full, I mean, what's usually for me at least an eight hour run. Sometimes it's nice to just jump into it, hop in and try our best. This room's not great, as long as we can get the sneak attack off on the adder skeleton. Might be a chance, because we'll level up at least. And if I can get the sneak attack off on the iguana, that's even better. No dice. So, what I think we're going to do here is we're going to drink a potion of haste. Normally, you like to play more... Uh, fighter themed characters in this kind of a sprint you can always learn magic later but it's these first couple rooms that are really hard to get through on a spellcaster start a bit easier if we're able to slow you unfortunately we have absolutely no ranged damage here so might just have to cross our fingers hope it all works out we're at least up to level 3. This is where it starts to get good, because we start rolling into the levels right away. And if we can just survive out of here, we have Frozen Ramparts and Ozakubus. Which actually, I'm just going to close this door. Haste is wonderful and all, but I'd rather have some recourse moving forward. So let's learn both of these spells real quick. And that's why you're given such good consumables at the start of the game. It's usually fine to burn a few going through this room. And then by the time you get later on, you should be good. And javelins are super powerful. Mm -hmm, definitely. So, okie dokie. Let us open the door here. Get everybody freezing as much as possible. And ramparts will make the rest of this so much nicer. Wonderful. So, I think after this one is where we get altars. Perfect. So you're able to worship whoever you want. And in fact, hmm, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 altars. So what I'm going to do real quick is bring up random number generator. Between 1 and 25, we're going to keep the full random strat going. Ignis would be fun 
for sure, but you lose out on the ability to rocket boot your way out of there. So I'm going to randomly generate a number. I should have made it 24 because I randomly got 25 and unfortunately Bio is, is not an option for us. So let's roll that one more time. And we get 10. So we will be playing with do five, six, seven, eight, nine, Rue. Okay. And we'll see how that goes. I've never played with Rue in this sprint in particular. There are a couple of really good god options specifically. Even like Uskaya becomes really fun because you just have to get through the room. So if you can paralyze everyone and then just chop your way through them, no problems whatsoever. I think next room though is more equipment. So this is where things truly start to take off. You get a, a vast array of weapons to choose between here. So in fact, let us maybe use the Rapier of Protection for the time being, but we might want to use that Quarter Staff of Speed. With no training, Quarter Staffs are pretty solid, and Speed gets rid of a lot of the issues you run into. Slime Mom would also solo this mode. That's actually a great point. And there's a lot less risk of slimes eating your stuff because I don't think they can spawn ahead of you where you haven't explored. Hmm. Now that's interesting. But we'll pick up this stuff. No armor for us for the time being here. Definitely wear the, the hand and gloves. And you never know what rings you're going to get. Getting the protection ring is super lucky. And we also have this acid wand now. So this will be our next big panic device. What can we do against what we have arrayed before us? Oh, I also probably... <laughs> Should have just forced a god with magic abilities because there's no guarantee that we'll get more of those but hey we'll be fine i'm sure start with those akubus then frozen ramparts and you know i think i will do at least one blast to try and weaken this kobold and the troll before they come up to us because they are going to be a bit nasty so let's stop ice magic at 10 spell casting at six We'll start training some of the other skills to make up for the fact that we won't be getting a heck of a lot of spell books. I think there is a room that we get later on that has some spells for us. Until then, we definitely need some other options in our, our repertoire here. To even train some dodging right away. And we'll see how that goes. I also never did switch to my... Um, quarter Staff of Speed. But I'm hoping we can kill this buddy. And then Null is going to be its own thing here. Let's go with one more blast, and that should kill you. Perfect. Rue believes we are ready to make a new sacrifice. We can sacrifice words, experience, or love. Love is kind of interesting. I don't think we're going to be getting any summons this entire time. You might get summoning scrolls at some point down the line. But that's not a huge deal. Double check. Experience does what? We lose two levels immediately. And max level is reduced by two. I think that that's a bit much for us. Love, though, just means that we will no longer be able to charm or get summons. Which shouldn't be a huge deal here. So let's try that out. We'll sacrifice love. I'm now hated by all. Thanks, game. I appreciate it. Switch over to our lovely quarter staff as well, and let's see how many of these rooms we can survive. Because it's going to get real nasty. Oh, me oh my. Yep. You know, this was a very unfortunate room here. I feel like normally you get something that's a little more survivable. But hey, maybe after this one, we can try out a combo intentionally, or at least we can pick the god next time so that we're not left just floating in the wind here trying to figure it all out. Ouch. I'm gonna use up most of my healing. We already hit our next level here, so let's train staves a bit, I think. We will be getting a shield later, but we don't need it for the time being, so I think that that's a-okay. We'll even train armor. Maybe we'll end up being able to wear... I guess not plate, we don't exactly have the strength for that. 
fact, I probably should have thrown some of our attribute points into strength if I was thinking about it. But that's fine. <laughs> we'll be fine, I'm sure. Just need to survive, I think, this room, and then we might get another equipment. So... Come on, in loving memory, you can do it. Just this one time. I could close the door. Which I don't hate that idea. Armor up. Open up. Accidentally armor up for a second time. <laughs> Whoopsie daisies. We'll just try and survive this room by throwing the majority of our resources at the problem. And hopefully... That's just about enough. In fact, one more acid for good luck. We should be A-OK. -okay. I didn't think they would actually roll because it's a bit of a weird situation. Oh, and you were a shapeshifter. How about that? Last you one last time here, and we're so close to surviving. I think I will put some points into strength, though, since we will have to, by necessity, be a little bit more of a, a hybrid character. And that should do it. Okay. I'm very surprised that we survived that room whatsoever. Let's get back on the road, shall we? And indeed, we do get another equipment room. We can pick all this stuff up. Staff of Earth isn't super useful immediately here, but it might be in the future. And we can definitely switch over to leather armor, and it shouldn't even affect our spell casting. Not much. Do I want to learn Hailstorm? Potentially. Don't know how well it works in this kind of rigid map structure. But as always, Ozakubu armors first, then do this. Layer branch should be nice and easy with the cold damage coming in. You do love to see it. That Hydra is going to be the scariest part, but fortunately with Ozakubus, we have a little bit of recourse for potentially making it through. We definitely need those frozen ramparts. And you'll see that you just start getting skills super fast since the experience is so condensed here. <laughs> and that's, again, why it's a lot of fun to just jump into one of these when you don't have a lot of time. I mean, it is called a sprint after all. And see what you can't uh, get done. Could train evocations and switch over to using our earth staff at some point so that we can use a shield in our other hand. That could be nice. Regardless, let's train this up. Even all the way to 10, it'll happen before we know it. Fighting can even come back on 14, and dodging as well, just to give us some nice defenses here. Perfect. And not too shabby. So I believe now we're getting into the S branches here. Rue does allow us to make another sacrifice. Experience? I still don't know if we can do that. All the skill aptitudes decreased by one though. I mean, with how much we get experience-wise in each and every one of these, that's pretty solid, actually. Don't think I want to sacrifice durability. Yeah. I don't think so. Rampart is so good, for sure. Yeah, I think skill's the way to go here. I do really want to make this sacrifice perfect, and now we can draw out power. Not too shabby. And let's see what we get. More reptiles is always fine by me. Absolutely fantastic. What could have been a truly awful room becomes a heck of a lot more manageable when we find ourselves in this boat. Especially with all the, the Black Mambas kind of just dying before they get the chance to walk up to us. Absolutely lovely. Okay, and what do we get next? Maybe snakes? Maybe spiders? Spiders would be kind of bad for us, but not the end of the world, I hope. <laughs> no guarantees. Oh gosh, no, just crazy scary lair and that many cattle plebises? What am I supposed to do against cattle plebis? Hmm. I can try and do a little bit of abusing of our... Fear scrolls. But I gotta tell you, this one's gonna be a rough one, especially if I accidentally Ozukubu's armor instead of 
casting frozen ramparts, but that's fine. We'll then blast through a couple of you. We'll also go invisible, I think, just to try and get through this in one piece. And last acid charge, so hopefully the rest of this isn't too bad. Oh, but we are in clouds. Hmm. I think as long as we keep our frozen ramparts and our armor up, in fact, maybe Cataplebis Calcifying dust, dust doesn't work in this line sprint, which would actually make a certain amount of sense. It's a lot more fair than I expected. That's awesome. Nope, I'm petrified. <laughs> But hey, we managed to close the door in their faces, and it is just a couple more of those bad boys. Hello? Actually, I'd like to bring you back here if possible. Please and thank you. At least that way we can shut the door if things go poorly. Which they almost definitely are. In fact, since the Yak is getting petrified, I'm just going to take some steps back. We're going to slow play just this room a wee bit, or accidentally step next to our Cataplebis uh, friends. Whoopsie daisies. Oh me, oh my. 36 damage, eh, friends? That's too much. I was kind of curious, if I berserk now... How does that actually work out? Do I lose concentration on Ramparts and Ozukubus? I mean, now's the time to test. I do not. So that's actually very interesting. I'm gonna be frozen for the majority of my... my rage. I'm slowing down again. I just need to get the kill. Come on. Oh jeez, we're so close. I think I go for the freeze here instead now. 1d11. Is that going to potentially be a kill? Could be. As I slow down again, and this might be the end for us. Oh no, we do kill them. Oh geez. Definitely take a step back though. There's still one more. <laughs> This room is out of control. Normally the sprint isn't quite as stop and go. You can usually do some sprinting, especially through this section in particular. But it's a rough one to say the least. Just close the door one more time here. I'd like them to be right next to us so that we're not losing turns. Oops, that's what we meant to do. We'll see how this goes. Fortunately, with our frozen walls up, we have a little bit of an advantage even when we get turned to stone. We're putting out damage. Perfect. Oh, and thanks, Safed. I definitely completely forgot about dropout. <laughs> Whoopsie daisies. But hey, there we go. We're through one more here. Just would need to survive till the next equipment room. And you're saying there's a chance. Perfect. Immediately get a couple more pips onto AC. We'll see how that goes. One of these days, those in-between paths is actually going to be a, a unique area. So we'll have to see how that goes. We're ready to make another sacrifice. Hmm, huh, resistance? I don't think so. Courage is dangerous in this because we're almost always against at least one enemy. It's powerful or essence. Sacrifice Magical Essence? That's actually not too bad since we're not going to be casting too much here. So let's grab that real quick while we have the opportunity. All these mighted orcs are going to be a problem in their own right. But Frozen Ramparts, I believe in you. And we just might be able to make it through this. In fact... Could draw out power, I guess. Max HP, drain, and exhaustion. Oops. Let's not accidentally press a bunch of buttons, but let's try it out. Get back up to full health real quick. At least we're killing some of the backline units as they try and approach us. Frozen Ramparts is truly a beautiful spell. 
Perfect. I believe this is actually going to be two different rooms of, of orcs. So the next one is where things get well and truly terrifying. So we'll have to see how that goes. And we'll give it a shot. Oh, dang, you have a polearm? If only we still had at least one charge on our uh, thingamabob. When he will nuke the back line? Ooh. And it would be would have been very helpful in this exact situation. So you know. I think you just might be onto something. I'm gonna take these buddies on a little bit of a walk, at least away from the major damage there, and that is much better. Oh my gosh, do I have to do the same with you real quick? Try and fool you into following me around the corner? I'm glad you're being stunned by my conviction, because that's always a helpful little tidbit. But let's try this out, see how she goes. And that should be just about it. I'm surprised we didn't run into any high priests. And in fact, let's learn Hailstorm real quick. And we'll even train a little bit of Conjurations against a minus four aptitude just to get that fully castable. Hello, friends. Not too bad. See, and this is a bit more what I'm used to, just a lot of tabbing in inline sprint, unless things go horribly wrong. We get money, and then it's another very scary room. We could try Hailstorm for the first time. That seems kind of nice, actually. But... Let's save some mana so that we can for sure bring our ramparts back up, and this room might be where we get taken down a peg, unfortunately. In fact, what I probably should have done going into this was use up some of these enchantment scrolls, potentially get myself all, all set up. But hey, it is what it is, and we'll see if we can't take care of these buddies. Perfect. Then you have a spear, hey friend. And you immediately break the door. I was kind of hoping that we'd spend some time going back and forth, opening and closing the door, because they're taking damage from ramparts the entire time. No dice. So let's instead... Oh, probably draw it power, but... This is no evocables. Ooh. Maybe. Actually, no, I definitely just do purity, right? Losing a bit of dexterity is not a huge deal. So I like that. And do I gain... I can now gather my power into a mighty leap. Perfect. Don't have the MP for it at the moment, but let's draw a power to start out. Then we will take a step forward, because we need to. Make sure this buddy isn't just poking us from afar with their pointy stick. And now for the last few, we're going to take a risk. We're going berserk, and we're just going to try and kill everything before it gets the opportunity to return the favor. Okay, that's that one was surprising. I thought, again, for sure that that's where we found our end. Oh, you know, it's not over yet. Hold, please. Definitely hailstorm to try and hit this buddy. This is what Hailstorm is basically built to do. Still two of you, hey? Oof. So, I think we're going to read Fear, get them to start running. We're going to break our armor for sure. And run, run away. Just trying to replenish enough magic that we can make sure that we have frozen ramparts and armor up and running. And then maybe, just maybe, there's a chance here again. Must enable one skill. Let's put fighting back on, bring it to 16. Um, hmm. We'll just put these on for pretty much the rest of time. At least dodging. And try and remember 
to uh, check those over in a bit here. We also definitely should be wearing troll leather armor instead of just basic leather armor. Perfect. Let's see if we can't get through the rest of this, shall we? Definitely break our armor. I'm not too worried about that. And what do we get? Magic mapping is useless. In fact, all of those are kind of useless. Leather armor, fire resistance, maybe? But that scale mail, I at least want to see what it does. And we will buy a shield as well. And try that out. So, what did we get? Plus two ring mail of cold resistance. If I put that bad boy on, is everything still castable? Lovely. We lose out on the regen, unfortunately, but I think that's worth it just to have a nice, robust AC. And we will also put on the Scarf of Invisibility and see what else we have. Magic Helmet? Yes, please. Maybe the Shiny Scale Mill, and we'll buy the robe as well. Don't have to worry too much about money in this mode. That robe is very good for resistances. So that's not bad. Unfortunately, AC gets kind of crappy. That's not the end of the world. Scale mail, probably not going to switch. And a bit of extra intelligence from our hat. Don't mind if I do. And let's go back on the road, shall we? Ah, uh, here's weapon upgrade time. Plus seven short sword. It's anti-magic. That's too bad, because otherwise I was, I was kind of interested, kind of down. So what else? Broad Axe kind of loses some of its appeal. We have Fire Dragon Scale, Cloak of Starlight. Sure. I'll actually wear that instead of our invisibility, I think. And plus two ring mail is just about as same as what we've got going for us. So I think that's going to be pretty much it. And we might actually stay with... Do I want to stay with the quarterstaff? I, I'm not able to use a shield is my main issue. If I switch to the short sword, I can probably wear some big armor because it's plus six strength. So that's also tempting in its own right. Takes away our spell casting, but could potentially be worth it. So regardless, let's at the very least pick up something to potentially use in the future. I'm feeling sword might be our, our go-to. And then before we head through here, We'll just do some quick enchanting on our helmet, and you know what? We're sticking with the quarter staff of speed for now. Still have one more of those bad boys, and let's try that out, shall we? Okay, a little bit of a rough start with the elf blinking around behind us. That's not what you wanted to see. And we definitely want to hailstorm the, the centaurs before they get any opportunities here. And this might be the end for us. I guess could do a haste in advance and we could do the potion of resistance, but I think it's actually just going to get worse from here on out. So let's instead draw it power. Try and kill this buddy before they flame us too much. And that's not too, too bad. Eden is going to be the next big scary. In fact, we'll start with the Hailstorm. If we take even one hit, I think we're in rough straights. But not too shabby. Jeez Louise. Or scratch that. Maybe just a wee bit shabby. A wee bit scary. Okay. Unfortunately, we are starting to run low on time here, so I think we're going to have to start truly, well and truly sprinting through and see how it goes. Definitely break that. Thank you kindly. In fact, maybe I should switch over to that short sword just to allow us to hold down the tab key a little bit more. There we go. First unique showing up way later than expected. Um, do you want? Yes, I will break it just to get next to the Cyclops here. What are you looking at, Jazzy? So we're currently playing uh, a sprint instead of the usual game. So this is line sprint. 
allows you to uh, to blast your way through in rapid speed and just try and get to the, the very end of this little labyrinth and then grab the orb, get the heck back. Oof. Meliai being that far back is very bad for us. At least the orb spider doesn't have a lot they can do. Start here and then hailstorm to try and kill them. Another Meliai, of course. <laughs> Not what you wanted to see. So I think we're going to have to use our last haste potion. Close the door on that orb. Well, just have to get hit by that one, unfortunately. <laughs> and this may, in fact, be the end for us. Or not. Never mind. No problems whatsoever. Never a doubt in my mind, of course. <laughs> get back on the road again shall we I do not like the trees so we are going to try to walk back a little bit oh no we're confused never mind might as well swing around a bit while we're here we're at least not taking too much damage while in our confused state and then we can Bring the ramparts back out, at least dealing a little bit of damage. And let the rest of our friends come to us, if possible. I probably should just teleport away so that we're not dealing with a bunch of mighted dragons. In fact, let's blink back, drink hearing before we die to the poison. And not too shabby, we're still alive. You bet if I say this won't be the end, it will be the end. <laughs> Could put that to the test. I mean, if we have that kind of superpower, then we could always use the opposite as well. So that seems kind of nice, right? Not having poison resistance against all of these dragons is real rough. But, fortunately, Rue is uh, kind of doing us a solid here. Do you want, I even have to just blink to get out of the poison gas? <laughs> there we go. Oh, me oh my. Did the rogue have poison resistance on it? No, unfortunately everything except for poison, but definitely a good call out because maybe shocking to no one, I did completely forget that we had those, but now we have swamp scales, so we should be able to just put these on. I'd rather have that than cold resistance, I feel. Ah, but now we should be wearing that robe. And such is the way of the world, is it not? Well, I think we're just going to blast through this one and see if it all ends here. That's not the end of the world. Seen as how I do very much, unfortunately, uh, have to go. Excuse me, Naga friend. This is the one nice part about coming across the snake vault, is you can just run away once you get to the, the Nagas themselves. Let's see, can I face a warrior one-to-one? -one? No problem whatsoever. Definitely don't use Ozokubus in that setup. It's not going to do anything for us, and not too shabby here. As we get Nessos as our next unique. Hello, friend. Sorry to say that this setup does not go well for you <laughs> better than i thought with you blinking back and forth like that but there we go managed to take them down and azul glad we have the poison resistance now at the very least as they stumble around blind oh gosh snorg is also coming to join the party um so here i actually don't want to kill azul so i'm just going to use hailstorm to hit snorg a couple of times and then hmm Unidentified potion. Oh, Ambrosia. Interesting, but also not good. Sorry, no, I don't want to break that. And there we go. This is the one time that I have to break all my moral codes, because there's unfortunately just no way past unless we do terrible things to these poor innocent souls. <laughs> so the pigs must die. And we'll see. Just pretty much O-tabbing our way. How far can we get here today? Doing 
again, much better than expected, even thus far. So you do love to see that. Confused is not great. Confused to attack without stumbling around. In that case, fine. We'll use our last carrying. Hope that does the trick. And... Not too shabby. Maybe. Oh, never mind. We're not out of this. And in fact, quite the opposite. Might be the end. We will draw out power to try and stall this out as much as we possibly can. And then we can... I guess try to chain blink scrolls all the way down. Not exactly ideal, but oh, I thought I lost you. Well, that's a shame. I don't think there's any shot that I fear you. Actually, better odds than I expected. Oh, never mind. It will not affect you at all. That's <laughs> what a roller coaster we went on. Um, let's Ozakubi's armor, and then we'll just try to hailstorm you. And unfortunately, I think this might be the end. We can try one more quick blink down. Get another draw power back online, at least. Dad? Is that you? We've been looking for you this whole time. Please. Please, if, you, if our family ever meant anything to you. Let's chug mutation and see if we get something good. We got clarity, which would have been nice to have earlier, honestly. And otherwise... We just got one less magical cap, and we got cold resistance, so that's kind of nice, actually. Let's try this random potion and see what we get. Cancellation. <laughs> okay, not super useful. Well, I think this may be the end. I forgot to change up rings as well. We probably should have gone from dex to at least something like evasion. And we'll do our best. And unfortunately, that's as far as we go. But I hope that was a good taste as to what the sprints entail. I do really implore people to try it out if you haven't before. I find them a lot of fun. I don't do them all the time. It's not quite as satisfying to get through to the end as it is with uh, a legitimate run. But it's definitely fun if you just have like half an hour you want to blow through. Highly recommend checking it out. And you tried in loving memory of Peter. Tried your best. Would love to see Mayfly Tower that's still a thing. Oh, that would be really fun. Unfortunately, they're not. But this, a Mayfly Tower in a sprint is like double speedrun strat since they're already kind of built to be speedy. So that would have been really satisfying. But as mentioned earlier, this unfortunately is where we're going to have to call it. Just a little itty bitty baby stream today. But we will be coming back tomorrow uh, to continue on with the Vampire series in full. And hopefully, Steven son of peter can uh can get vengeance sweet sweet revenge for the fall of their father but thank you everyone for coming out today thanks to all of you who attended the memorial i know peter would have appreciated it gone but not forgotten and thanks again for the the condolences i'll make sure to pass that along to his entire brood <laughs> but Perfect. This is, again, where we'll have to be calling it for the day. We will do a quick check to see who is live at the moment. We'll shoot out a raid. It's a bit of an unusual time for me to be doing that, so I'm hoping somebody is on in general. Maybe, just maybe. Internet's being slow. Rain day now. Perfect. There is somebody on, so that's good. Right now, Arcalina is playing a little bit of Hades, so I definitely recommend coming around. They're incredible. They do a lot of speedrunning, but I know they oftentimes just hop on for fun as well. So definitely stick around, come say hi in the raid. And and yeah, thanks again for showing up. I hope you'll enjoy it. I'm glad to be able to show off sprints since I didn't realize that they were something that so few people had kind of interacted with in the past. So, so that's pretty sweet. But thank you all again so much. One final farewell to Peter, and that is where we'll, we'll call it for the day. But of course, regardless of all of that, I do hope that you're having a great morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is for you, and I definitely hope to see you soon, whether that be tomorrow, to continue Vampire Wednesday when we're doing something, I don't even know what the plan is yet, or next Sunday, where we'll be hopefully winning with said vampire, but who's to say what the future has in hold? Regardless, I'll see you soon. See ya.